Hey everybody, um, I hope you're all doing okay considering everything that's going on in the world. Um, it's definitely a challenging time. It's challenging to be, or at least for me, it's pretty challenging to be um, motivated to, uh, I don't know, just to keep focus on everything, but um, it's helped me to make small goals and kind of break everything down into pieces. So one of the things that I like to do is 10 minutes of core. It's one of my checklist things I've had for the last, oh, like few years, but now I feel like it's even more important to stick with those habits that you've been working on for your life and create new ones. And if you miss something or one day you don't do it, try it again. And so here's one of mine. It's just a simple strength, well, not even strength routine. It's a simple core routine. Um, so I'm gonna try and walk you through it. Um, it's from my strength coach in uh, Santa Cruz, Jeff Moreno. So thanks Jeff for strengthening my core and now everybody else's. All right, so the first exercise that I always start with is like a floor flow type core exercise. Um, it is in this position uh, with my leg 90 degree angle, toes pointed up towards the sky, um, ankles are just a little bit in from my knees, and then the main part is that my belly button and my back are pressed flat into the ground. Um, my arms go up, and we kind of flow through different variations of this. So one variation is just a controlled dropping of the legs, dropping of the arms. As soon as my back feels like it's coming off of the mat, then I come up again and I try to make it as low as possible. The second very, so I'll do that usually about 10 of those. And like, like you can see, it's a pretty slow and controlled movement. So I'm not trying to get as many reps as possible in a certain amount of time. The second variation would be um, coming through. So same movement down, but this time I'm just gonna lift and move my arms through my legs. That one's a bit more challenging, um, but the same idea. You can probably hear my voice shake right now because <laughs> it's, I'm shaking a bit doing it and well, in general and talking. Um, you can do arms stay up and you can do just legs. Like I said, all of these I usually do about 10 different reps each one. Uh, we can do just arms. And then, I'll do two. <laughs> just so you can see it again. Um, another variation of it is having a weight. So you can use a stability ball and do all these exercises, or you can use a weighted ball of some sort, and you could use a gallon jug of water, a pillow, a brick, uh, whatever you have. If you want to use weights in your house, a child maybe, I don't know, we don't have one to practice with. So um, those are just some, some of the different variations of that exercise. And normally it'll take me about five minutes to run through, and like I said, I like to do probably anywhere between eight to 15 reps of each each variation, um, and then move on to the next one, but in a continuous, uh, continuous motion. All right, so then the second exercise that uh, we typically run through is just a plank variation. Um, if, this, if the plank is enough, the plank is enough, and that, that's good. I think for time-wise, um, it's really up to you and what you're comfortable to, and able to do while uh, maintaining a good uh, um, skill or strategy level. I can't think of the word. Anyways, um, but usually when we do it, we do a variation where you're gonna kind of lift one leg and then the other leg. And I usually do, uh, I'll count like this is two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. And the main point is to make sure that you're keeping your body stable. So when I move each leg, I'm not putting all my weight into one part of my body. I'm just trying to stay 
really solid throughout the whole movement. All right, moving on to the next exercise during our little floor flow type movements. Um, it's another plank variation, but it's a bit different. Um, it's all about the dynamic movement as well as stability of the core. So um, I start kind of like this, hips are down on the ground, and then I move my top leg backwards kind of in a running motion. And when I come up, I fall forward onto that top leg also with a running motion. And as I go back, I go down. As I come forward, my hip goes up. Really controlled. Uh, when my top leg comes forward again, all the weight kind of goes like this. So it's almost like I'm falling forward. Um, but yeah, just staying solid through the core, controlled. And yeah, really just working on kind of powering up and getting the motion of the run. All right, so last bit of core stability, so a bit of a different movement. It's something that uh, me and Jeff, my strength coach, deemed uh, break dancing, although it is not as impressive as that sounds. Um, and it's kind of like bear curl a bit, um, but you're gonna go forward. And then, I don't even know how to explain this one, so you're gonna have to go off the visual here, but controlled, walk a couple steps with your arms and your legs, your foot, your back foot, pointing to the direction you're going, hip down, then lift, walk a bit further, lift, and this is our triathlon rendition of break dancing. Um, sorry for the lack of good explanation for this exercise, because I don't have one. But helps you get strong. And um, yeah, you have a lot of time, so maybe you can figure it out.